Welcome to this series of video tutorials where we are going to take a look at using Adobe XD to create and prototype an interface for a sort of getting in touch with musicians and discovering local talent and making connections with them and trying to help them and aid them in their career and give them support. So we're going to call this uh, app Uprising, which is, as it says here, discover and support local music artists. And so uh, I'm going to take you through some of the screens that we're going to design through this process just so you get an idea of what's going on. So the first thing that's going to happen is if we imagine this is really like the kind of splash screen as it loads, this stuff here is going to all in a kind of parallax way, which we'll come on to later on, uh, slide out the way and then just sort of become uh, the background, which we're going to see here. And then once it's become the background, it's then going to load a map and position where maybe we are on the map and then it's going to show us local musicians around us. I'm going to create these things, which I'll show you here called uh, components which we have different states for uh, which we'll do later on and they'll enable us to be interactive and then we can go in and find out about that artist and see some of the music and then we've got a couple of buttons down here which are going to help us you can go back if we need to but if we wanted to chat with the musician we're going to come down here and chat and then have like a drag effect to take us back and then this button here is like the uprising button which says that we're supporting this artist and we um, are kind of following them which really is just about us trying to give that artist some kind of support. So really, whenever we create an interface, we've got to ask ourselves these couple of questions. The first one is, what are we trying to solve for the users? And this is really important because if we're making an app, it's got to have some kind of use. Like it doesn't just exist for no reason. It's got to have some use for the end user. In this case, we're trying to get people who are interested in music connected with their local music scene, but we're also trying to find a way for musicians to kind of say, hey, look, I've got this kind of big support fan base. I've got all these people who are supporting me on my journey. So twofold there, trying to help those musicians maybe get a recording contract or something like that, if recording contracts even exist in this day and age. And then the other thing that we do is as we're making the interface, we're really trying to ask ourselves, how can we make this work and just make it work in a way that makes sense for that user? Like uh, if the users um, come in here to find musicians, how do they, does it just make sense for them to do that? And if you're a musician, how do you get in touch with your fan base and so on? So we're not going to solve all of those things because we're just making a simple interface. We're going to do it from the user's perspective and them coming in and trying to find a musician, but we could definitely take it much further in the future. Let's quickly see it in action by hitting this play button. And there we can see it load up and then it loads the map. And then after the map's loaded, we see these musicians that appear here. We're looking at this particular one. Let's click on it. it takes us across and hey, we want to support this guy. So we go in there and support. And then we have this drag effect where we just drag it back and it snaps back into place, which is lovely. And then we might want to chat with the, the musician, so we have the ability to do that. And of course, you can go back to the map. All in all, should be a, a really fun time making this. So this is just an introductory video just to show what we're going to do. Next video, we're going to dive right into it and get into the nuts and bolts of working with XD and designing all this stuff from scratch.